Welcome back to Robbing Minds. Our next guest is a testament that reality shows still produce stars. Despite winning Project Fame many years ago, she continues to shine bright. She gives us hit records back to back. She's enjoyed a great career in the secular world and has transitioned fully to gospel music as a minister. I'm talking about none other than Chidima Ekile. And we're going to start this show. Chidima, welcome to Robin Minds. Thank you so much. Thank you. So tell me, your musical journey has spanned several years. I mean, it's over a decade, I believe, since you hit our yeah. screens with um, the reality TV show, and you've remained consistent. And a lot of um, musicians struggle with that. So what has helped you to still stay relevant, to still stay consistent mm -hmm. for many years? Um, well, I think, whether we like it or not, the... Um, industry will keep evolving, so it is up to us, you know, to keep evolving as as it evolves. I think what has um, kind of like helped me has been staying true to myself and being being my original self. Yeah, I'm just being comfortable in who God has made me. Being comfortable and staying true to your sound. Yeah. Um, it's it's interesting as the music industry evolves. We're seeing. Um, a lot of reality shows coming up with exactly. um, you know, new talents and all. And a lot of times they do very well. They garner the support, but then they find it very hard to transition into mainstream and come yeah. back with um, hits back to back. But what has worked for you that you're still relevant um, and you've been able to use that experience? Oh, well, um, I mean, the experience was beautiful. I, I got all that I had to get. I learned all that I had to learn. And then also, I think the passion to want to really do music and, um, yeah, God's help, basically. I, don't, I think without God's help, there's really so much I can do. Yeah. So I think, yeah, God's help and just believing in myself, absolutely. Now, you started off as a secular artist before transitioning into gospel. Yeah. Um, do you feel that you might still go back to secular music or maybe inspirational, mm -hmm. clean music? Or mm -hmm. is this move um, permanent? We've mm -hmm. seen artists who do a mix of both. Yes. Oh, well, um, getting here was quite a journey. Um, truthfully, it is what I've battled for years, you know, but not knowing how to get into it was, my, was the issue that I had. You know, but um, I mean, God helping me, I had an encounter, I had a conviction, you know, so I'm here and I'm here to stay. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you feel that um, having been um, a secular artist, that you've gotten a lot of good reception from, say, um, the gospel market? And mm -hmm. we know that for a lot of gospel artists, um, they make some of their money from church performances. Yeah. So do you feel that um, compared to those who started off in gospel, that you've had it good? Um, definitely, I've had it good. Um, I've never really um, wanted to do just, you know, church, you know, just church events. I mean, being here is to, I mean, preach the gospel of Christ, um, draw people, direct people to the love of Christ, and also impact my, my, my society, you know, positively here. Yeah. Okay. Now, with um, the gospel music scene, there's... Um, it's, it's known that it doesn't receive the kind of attention that, say, secular music um, receives, even in terms of the kind of money that is being spent on, mm -hmm. say, promotion, on A&R. Mm -hmm. um, what can be done to change this so that we have more people coming mm -hmm. in to gospel music? I think it is changing. Okay. I, I think it is. I mean, um, for the few years I've been, I've been here, I've seen the gospel music industry evolve. Um, I've seen um, artists now, you know, turning out, you know, huge um, amounts of funds to shoot their videos for their promotions, you know, PR. Um, I'm down to um, how they look, like um, costuming and all of that. They're shooting, like, really impressive videos right now. Yeah, so I think it's actually changing. And speaking of shooting impressive videos, I really enjoyed the visuals for I Recommend Jesus. Tell, mm -hmm. tell us about the creative process. Um, okay, so the song was born out of my own revelation of who Christ is, my, um, the love that um, Christ has for me um, was born out of, I mean, the, the world as it is, 
is changing, right? Um, a lot of things are not working for a lot of people. Things are changing from how we used to be, from how we used to know it, you know. So um, Christ has been the only thing that has remained constant, you know. So it was just from my own experience, I'm saying that the only thing that remains constant in this troubled world is Jesus. Okay, so that's the inspiration behind the song. So in choosing to um, do the visuals, um, yeah. tell us about um, the collaboration. It, is, it was well done. Um, I think yeah. a lot of us have seen some gospel music videos that haven't been done as well, but that yeah. I thought was well done. So what was um, the creative process? Yeah. Um, can you talk us through okay, that? Okay, so um, I really wanted to, um, to show, um, I, want, I want everybody to see... Um, just to, I wanted them to go on a journey with me, you know, so that's why if you, if you looked at the video, well, you see there was a place where I was trying to, you know, talk to a particular guy and talk, uh, talk about Jesus thing, like preach to him, give him a Bible and some money. Yeah, it was just to represent, you know, that that I feel, that that I have experienced. So, um, shooting the visuals were just, I, I mean, I also wanted to have fun on set, also look, you know, as beautiful as I can, because I feel like Jesus is beautiful, Jesus is fun, Jesus is exciting, you know. So, yeah, so the process of shooting the video was, it was stressless, it was fun, but at the same time, I thought it should drive home my point. Yes, um, that gospel music can be beauty, beautiful. Yeah. Um, so now the industry, whether it's gospel music or secular music, the musical industry or the music industry, um, is a tough one for a lot of artists. There's a yes. lot of pressure, the yes. fame, yes. Um, the, the temptations that come mm -hmm. with it. How have you been able to manage all of that? Um, well, like I said earlier, for me it's been, I think my major strength has been just being myself and I think that has worked for me over the years. So there's really no pressure about probably wanting to be someone else or do what someone else is doing. So I'm just comfortable being me, yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of the pressure, you were confronted with a lot of accusations, and I'm mm -hmm. talking about the whole um, flavor, Kiss Daniel. Um, how did you navigate those rumors? Because you can be doing your own thing, mm -hmm. and then someone just behind a keypad mm -hmm. sees something and you know starts stirring things up. Oh, well, stuff like that always happened, you know, in the in the industry. Um, I just try as much as possible to block out, you know. Um, the noise and the distraction. Yeah. So no, so they're not true. None You've no. never dated Flavor or Kiss Daniel. Oh well, I I wouldn't even want to talk about that at all. Okay, um, but speaking about um, the dating scene, do you have anyone that um, any special person? Oh no, not yet. Oh, are you looking to settle soon? I know there's that pressure, especially with uh, men and women of God, that mm -hmm. at a certain age they expect <laughs> you to settle down. Maybe no, no, pressure, a... no pressure at all. Okay. No pressure whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, so no love interest, nobody. Um, no, that's... no, no pressure. I mean, it's whenever, whenever the time is right, it will be. Yeah, I think I think this um, ties into the private life that you live. Yes. Um, is there a reason for that, like um, being very private about your, you know, your private life? Oh, uh, I think it has a lot to do with my background. Um, I was, that was how I was raised, you know, to just, you know, mind my business and just do my work. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about your experience being a judge on the music reality show Gospel Groove. Yeah, um, Gospel Groove Talent Quest um, is actually... Um, bettered by my record label, um, Easy um, Global, and um, it's been it's been fun. Um, sometimes it gets quite nostalgic to me, you know. The judging that was also from you know some a platform like that, so it's just been um, a lot of a lot of fun. I've been having so much fun on it, yeah. And are you proud of the growth um, in terms of the contribution being made to the um, gospel music industry? Because we expect that these um, reality shows should feed the industry Absolutely. with new and young talents. Yes, yes. I think, I think that's the goal, basically, to um, usher into the industry, introduce into the industry new, um, fresh and young talents. Yes. Um, care to share any of the talents that are under your um, musical label as a result of the um, reality show? Um, it's a, it's a, it's the maiden edition actually. It's the it's the first um, edition edition that that we're doing right now. Okay, yes. so whoever wins this will will get a record. Exactly for a few years. Okay, 
Um, I think that's good because a lot of times um, we have, we keep hearing the same voices in gospel yes, music. Yes, I, 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 that's just our own contribution, you know, to the industry because, I mean, I feel like um, there should be new, I mean, even, I mean, just like the secular um, industry, every year, you know, we have lots of new talents. I think it also helps the industry to grow, it helps the growth you know, of the industry. I think that that's um, what God is helping us to do right now. Now, in, in gospel music, we know that a lot of these artists that come out, they start from the church. Not yes. many come out through reality shows or yes. just um, get discovered on YouTube. Mm. And as a result, there's that um, commitment or allegiance to a certain church. What do you make of those politics where a certain church member might not be allowed to go and perform in another church, even though it's still one church? Um... Well, I think I don't think that that happens a lot. Um, some of the artists that we have, a lot of them actually, they go to other churches that are not their own, you know, um, churches to, to minister. I don't think that has ever been been a problem. No, I, I won't want to call names, but there are some artists that mm -hmm. I would say they would have to get permission from their church before they can perform. I mean, at I mean, I mean it depends on the relationship that you have, maybe with your pastor. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Have you ever had to get permission from your pastor to perform in a certain church, or um, what informs you I mean, taking the, up? The, the, the permission that I get is from God. I pray about it wherever I want to go. I mean, I speak to God if it's where he wants me to go. If I have a leading to go somewhere, I do. And if I don't, I stay back. So as a gospel artist, there's still that pressure to do big numbers, to mm -hmm. chart the top, um, to um, top, top the sure. charts, and to also um, be popular because mm -hmm. in spreading the gospels, people need to know you, people mm -hmm. need to hear your music, enjoy yeah. your music. Um, do you feel that doing things like challenges are a great way to promote the music or mm -hmm. we should just keep it strictly gospel? Challenges, um, that's on social media. Yes. I think challenges, they are also part of the art. It's part of promotional strategies. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that or um, engaging like a prayer com uh, company. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's just basic um, industry strategies. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's your biggest goal in all of this? You, you said it's about spreading the gospel yes. of Jesus, um, spreading the good news. But as an artist, what's mm -hmm. that? What's that goal? Is it a Grammy? Is it, um, is it a Dove Award? award? Is it, um, you know, to go platinum? What is it for you? Oh, well, um, the fulfillment that I get is just living my life to please Jesus. Um, I mean, I've lived, I've lived a good life. I'm, st I'm still living a good life. I'm just saying musically, I've done everything that I could do. So, I mean, right now, I'm just, you know, um, enjoying the fulfillment that I've found. You know, the, the love that I've found, you know, for Christ is what I'm just basking in um, at the moment. Uh, the goal, basically, is just directing lives to Christ. I'm impacting my society, you know, in, in, a, positive, in a positive way, yes. Now, tell us about your new music and your new work. Um, are there collaborations we should be expecting? Um, walk us through that. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I have, I have a song called Oshuba. Um, I have I'm In Love. It's featuring Buchi. The video will be out soon. And then there is, um, I recommend you just the one that we just saw a few minutes ago. Okay. And, and what um, informed that collaboration with Buchi? Uh... Okay, first of all, um, I'm a very huge fan of reggae music. Um, it's a reggae song. Uh, so after recording the song, getting it out, I thought, okay, I wanted someone on the song. And who other, you know, that, that, than Buchi? I just felt Buchi is also, he has the spirit of reggae. So he's the one who I thought could, you know, um, work with me on the song. And it came out beautifully. Okay. Now, if you look at both secular and gospel artists in Nigeria, there's yeah. that trend of getting an international artist to jump on a song mm -hmm. and then it opens that song to new markets. So yeah. is that a strategy that you're considering with some of the music you'll be putting mm -hmm. out? And if yes, what, who are the people you'd like to collaborate with internationally? Well, if I find, in, if I find a need you know, to put an international artist on my song, why not? You know, definitely I'll go for it. It's part of, um, it's a part of growth, you know, yes.
Is there any particular act that you would like to um, feature? Mm. You know, um, I know as children, we grew up <laughs> listening to certain names. Yes, so do you have that dream? What would a dream collaboration mm. be? Uh, well, there's, there's a number of them. There's actually a number of them. I, I, I don't think I can, I can mention one on um, top of my head right now, but there are a number of them, yeah. Okay. What about locally? Anybody that mm. comes to mind that you'd like to feature but you haven't yet featured or someone that you featured before and you'd like to still work with again on new music? Um, I, would, I would work with Bichil Van Over again. Um, there, there are lots of artists that have, I mean, that I feel like I love their spirits, you know. I would, it's not about the popularity, right? Um, I feel like I can, I can work with the kind of spirit that they carry. Um, there's a quite a uh, number of them. Uh, Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm, I'm so bad with mentioning mentioning names on You've the spot. You've only mentioned Bichi. I thought you, at least you mentioned maybe yes. some female artists in that yeah, space. Yeah, I'm saying um, I find it difficult mentioning names on the spot, Bichi, because I mean I've worked with him before. Um, who, 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 who? I don't know really. <laughs> and how do you deal with um, requests for collaboration? Like a young mm. artist um, comes to you to or an established artist that says they want to feature you. I know in the secular world it involves maybe pain yeah. or... I mean, not for everyone. Okay. I mean, it depends on the relationship that you have. I don't think I've ever charged anyone for, for collaboration. And do you see yourself collaborating with a secular artist if the music is in line with your spirit? I mean, if the message is right, I mean, why, why not? I do, I do prison outreaches, you know, um, secondary school, girls' secondary school um, outreaches. So if I have someone that has, you know, a message that relates to that, I mean, why not? And, and what informed these uh, missionary outreaches or um, these, I would, I would believe, yeah, your, why, why girls' secondary schools and why prisons? Uh, for girls, I feel like um, I have a lot of work. To, I'm very passionate about young girls, you know, so I feel like I have a lot of work to do with them. Um, that's that. And then for prison, I've, I've done prisons a few years, and I think I just fell in love with it, you know, felt kind of connected to the people in there. I feel like we're all just, we out here are just privileged to be here, you know, while they're there, right, just living their lives and waiting, some waiting for, you know, the time to go and some just hoping that someday they'll get out. So I, I felt kind of connected to, to them. So I thought to just, you know, take that up. Okay. Tell us about your musicology, that growth um, from Holy to I Recommend Jesus. Okay. So Holy, I did Holy when I was still in the secular, um, secular industry. I had not moved to gospel industry. That was the time when I was still, you know, battling my call, you know, so I just, I just did, that was one of um, the spontaneous music that I've ever received, you know, and I did, and I did that. I just thought to record it. I didn't even think to, I didn't, I didn't think it to even get anywhere. I just wanted to record, you know, just express myself and just express how I was feeling, even though I was not a gospel artist yet. Yeah, and that was how um, Holy came. But then I recommend Jesus is coming from a place of revelation, um, conviction, you know, yes. And now, as a reality show um, contestant who has gone on to become a winner and is now a judge. Um, what advice do you have for young people or people who are also battling this call? Maybe people who are currently um, singing secular music and they know they want to do gospel music or people who just want to start out their career. Um, for the ones who are still battling the call like I was, I know it is never really easy. You know, it is, it is not, you know, it's, at some point I just felt like if I take this step, I'll probably, you know, lose everything, you know, but then I just had to take the bold step and just, you know, trust Jesus as I go. And I think that um, anyone who wants to make that move should also do that. Like just, just trust. That's all that you have to do. Um, and for the ones that, you know, are going to, you know, 
get into the industry from the reality show. Oh, well, just just be yourself. Just do what you have to do. I think, like I said, that's one of the things that had worked for me. So I think, I think it works for everyone, really. Just do the best that you can. Be the best version of yourself. And even after you've done the best you can and you're not, say, maybe um, topping the charts or you're yeah. not uh, breaking the internet, your music mm -hmm. is not going viral, what yeah. encouragement do you have for them? You just have to keep trying. Um, some people didn't get it until several years, you know, after. You just have to keep trying. Um, I, I heard something recently when someone said, um, now who did I lose, you know? So if you, if, if you give up, I mean, you're the one who, who has lost, you know, so you, you just have to, you know, keep, keep moving, keep trying, keep going, just, you know, and, and keep trusting and praying someday a miracle might just happen. And and have you ever thought of going back to secular music? Have you um, considered it? <laughs> I've never considered it. Uh, I, I don't think that would that would happen. Okay. And um, do you get any maybe offers from people to say, jump on a secular track with us or come and do this feature? Um, yes, I do. I do not, not even just music, um, some other you know activities. But I feel like right now it is kind of like um, uh, kind of like reduced a bit because I think day by day people are getting to see that. Uh, because I mean, when I when I initially started up, I, a lot of people were kind of like doubtful. Like, is she sure what she's doing? Oh, probably she's gonna just like holy. She just did that and came back. You know, yeah. So people, I think right now they're used to the fact that you know children my is you know now a gospel. And I think my final question will be beyond I recommend Jesus, what next for Chidima Ekile? I have, I have lots of um, music videos um, I'm going, um, that's going to be coming out after I recommend Jesus. Yes, so I just hope that we look forward to that. Thank you very much, Chidima Ekile. So and much. all the best with I recommend Jesus and so the much. new music that's coming out. Thank you very much. Man.